Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to a new video. Hope you're all doing fantastic. And today I am really excited to start this short series that I'm going to be doing of videos where I'm going to help you guys figure out what to get for your um, bass tackle. So if you're just getting into bass fishing, this is kind of a short series I'm doing, hopefully to help you guys figure out how to choose a reel, how to choose your rod, and just help you guys get into the amazing world of bass fishing. So today we're going to be starting with the reel. Let's jump right to it. So when you're first choosing a reel, when you're getting into bass fishing, there are a lot of different factors to consider, but I've basically gone through and picked out seven different things that you really want to, uh, that you really want to focus on. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to nail down your budget. Uh, if you, you want to, there's so many different reels out there and so many different price ranges that you want to set a budget for yourself so that you know where you're at. I mean, can you buy a $50 reel, $100 reel, $150 reel, $200 reel? Um, those price points all offer a wide variety of different reels. So if you give yourself somewhat of a budget, just some sort of price bracket, it'll really help in narrowing down your search. The next thing that you want to think about is your application. Are you going to be fishing in a ton of lily pads? Like, are you planning on um, frogging for bass? Are you planning on using crankbaits? The reel that you choose is going to be different based on those things. So if you don't know, you know, what sort of application for bass fishing you're going to be doing, that's okay, that's fine, that's kind of what this series is for, is outlining and giving you guys um, that good all-around sort of setup for, you know, when you're just getting started. So another thing you guys need to figure out is whether to use a spinning reel or a bait casting reel. Now I recently did a video on this, so you guys can check this out on my channel, I'll leave a link up here. And that's basically, I don't know if you've ever seen it, here is a um, bait casting reel and here is a spinning reel. And uh, there are a lot of differences between them, but I recently did a video outlining those for you guys. And you can go check that out so as to help you make that choice. The next thing that's really important to consider is your drag. Um, when it comes to bass fishing, drag is actually pretty important. And uh, if you know you're going to be doing heavier things such as frogging, punching, things that involve um, catching fish in a lot of vegetation, you want to have um, you want to have a good solid drag. So my recommendation to you guys is to have a drag that's around uh, that's around 10 pounds, give or take a little bit. Because if you do not have enough drag, you know, say you have four pounds and you catch a four pound bass in uh, you know, and you have to pull out like another three pounds of vegetation, your reel cannot deal with that much weight. So you want to make sure that you have the appropriate drag for each application that you're doing. So since I don't know exactly which, exactly what application you guys are going to be doing, I would suggest an all around just about uh, 10 pounds of drag for you guys. So when we talk about gear ratio, gear ratio is how fast your handle will turn and how much line it brings in per turn. And uh, gear ratios are pretty important when you're thinking about buying a bass fishing reel because um, for each application in bass fishing, people tend to like different um, different speeds. So for example, crankbaiting, uh, usually you want to have, or a lot of people like to have a lower speed so that uh, they don't have to worry about reeling in too fast. There's a lot of different um, specific gear ratios people like for different things. I'm just going to um, sort of give you guys a good all-around gear ratio that seems to work well with uh, most applications. So that gear ratio is going to be um, 6 to 1 and anything anything around there. Um, for example, this reel right here that I'm showing you is a 6-3 to 1 and that is a very, um, a very good kind of all-around gear ratio for most things. Uh, now, you know, once you progress you can get a little bit more specific in your reels, but to start out, um, I would suggest anything in the range of 6 to 1. Alright, so the sixth thing you want to consider is your spool capacity. So with most bass fishing, spool capacity really isn't much of a concern unless you know where you're fishing. You know, you're fishing in a very large body of water and you know that there's really big bass. Because if you're just in a pond and you catch a giant, that's okay because it can only swim in a small area. So you don't really need to worry too much about um, spool capacity when it comes to bass fishing. So another important factor, guys, when you're thinking about choosing a reel for bass fishing is the materials that it's made out of. Now, when we talk about the body of the reel, um, there are two main types of material that it's made out of, which are aluminum and, um, and graphite. Now, a reel can be a mixture of these two, but those are the main two uh, materials that uh, reels are made out of. And the graphite tends to be a bit lighter. It's a bit lighter weight, um, but the aluminum kind of gives you that nice that nice uh, that feel, that nice quality metallic feel. So 
when it comes down to it, it's really up to you guys. It's up to your preference, but um, once again, graphite is lighter and aluminum tends to be a little bit heavier. But uh, I kind of like the aluminum because it gives a kind of quality feel, and it's still, you know, it's still fairly light. So guys, those are my recommendations and tips for you guys when you're choosing out a reel for bass fishing. I hope you all enjoyed this. If you think I've missed anything or that anything you'd like to add to this list for things to think about when you're choosing a reel, um, please add them in the comments below. That'd be helpful. Not only I would like to see it, but I'm sure it would help other people out who are viewing this. So yeah, if you have anything to add, feel free. And uh, once again, guys, just thank you all for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.